Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get custom JSON files, um, that is the files that create custom structures on your DAISY uh, local server, how you get them to work. So how do you activate them, where do you put them, all this sort of stuff. So as you can see, I've got a DAISY server already installed um, and this video is really aimed at people who have already got a DAISY server installed and know how to create custom JSONs, but maybe you just have to like the DAISY editor but aren't sure how to get them working in their DAISY server. So if we go into the server itself, um, what you need to do, you need to make sure that the uh, um, uh, cfggameplay.json file is actually activated within your server, and that will be in your server dz.config. Um, uh, and if you're not quite sure what, what your server dz.config is, if you open up um, your batch file that starts your server, you'll see a reference up here to something like server config equals and that will give you the the name that the config file is generally it's server dz.config so if we go into server dz.config and we edit that with notepad plus plus what you're looking for is you need to put in a line like that so what you see where this, that says enable cfg gameplay file equals one semicolon I'll put a uh, I'll put that in the description below this video. So you need to copy and paste and have that in your server dz.config. Without that, the game won't know that the um, CFG gameplay file should be looked at in order to to look at things. So as you can see, so we put that in, then then you would save it. Um, the next thing you need to do is you need to add your uh, custom JSONs to your mission folder. So for example, in this server, we've got Chernus here. So we need to put them into a trainers folder. Now you can kind of put them wherever you like, but what I recommend you do is you create a custom folder, like I've created here within the missions folder, and you place them in there. The reason for that is that that is how we have to do it on console, um, um, because that's the only place where on Nitrado servers, that's where they'll look to find custom JSONs. And if J custom JSONs are somewhere else, um, the game won't look there, they're kind of banned. Um, and the, if you do this on PC, so if you create a custom folder and put them in there, that way if you come across tutorials for specifically console, it will all be the same. Also, it helps to keep the files in a separate, nice location where they're gonna go. So we've got maze.json there and uh, northeast airfield tent.json there. So they're in the right place. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure the game knows to load these up and put them onto the onto the map and that is in the cfg gameplay.json file so if we open up that and you scroll down you're looking for the object spawner array line which is there underneath world's data and as you can see this one says object spawner array and then it's got custom forward slash maze.json comma and then inverted commas custom forward slash neaf tent.json so the custom bit is the other folder that it's in and then you've got the two files that I refer to. Note also the comma afterwards. It's very, very easy to accidentally get rid of that comma and then it will stop working. So that means now that the game will look in the CFG gameplay file, it will look at the object spawner array line, and then it will look in the custom folder for the maze.json and look at the neaf10.json <coughs> and then spawn whatever stuff is meant to be, you know, the structures that are within that. Um, onto your onto your server um, Just save those and restart the server and that, that will do it What I will do is in the description below this video. I will also put in the object spawner array line That I've done and I'll do two versions of it a version That's only got one file in it and then one that's got two you know so that you've got like you, you understand where to put the comma So you can have as many files as you like um, I guess the only other thing that's worth mentioning is the um, uh, is it MacBook Pause? Let's just open and edit this. Yeah, so the, the other thing to remember is that if you've created a uh, custom JSON file but you want um, items to spawn in that those custom structures, say you've added a, like a, a village somewhere and you want uh, items to spawn in there, it's important that within the DAISY editor you do do an ex you, you do export not only to a um, custom json file but to a map group pos file as well <coughs> excuse me and then what you do is that within your map group pos.xml on your server you would then copy and paste that section in 
because custom JSONs that will just spawn in the uh, the structures, but they won't spawn in any um, central economy loot. Um, if you choose to spawn in items as structures within your thing, so let's say you know you have a military tent and you specifically spawn um, put in M16 there. Um, using the daisy editor to spawn them in as a as an item and not as as part of the loot then that's that's a different thing but if you want the game to treat those objects as part of the central loot economy where they'll disappear and reappear and be cycled through then you need to make sure that you uh, within daisy editor export to a map group pos and then put that into your map group pos on your folder so there we go so just to kind of go back over the basics again because it's very easy to miss some of these things out um, make sure that in your um, serverdz.config you've got the enabled cfg gameplay file equals one tag open and then um, within your mission file on your server add a custom folder and put your files in there and then within the cfg gameplay.json make sure that you've got your object spawner array line and you've got the correct <coughs> excuse me, addresses there to the particular files. Um, and if anything doesn't work, it's probably because you spelt something wrong or you haven't put the custom bit in or you've missed that in inverted comma or you've missed it out of square bracket or, or something like that. Or the most most common one is people don't enable CFG gameplay file equals one on their local server. Right, so there we go. That's it. Hopefully you find that useful. If you have it, like. Um, if you uh, got any other questions or comments, put them below the video. And of course, I will see you again soon.